everyone, and welcome to another week of Bible Stories on here. I hope you all had an awesome week with your family and were able to go outside, enjoy some sun, um, and just had a great week. And all this month, we've been talking about what word? If you know it, go ahead and yell it out. Yes, faith. We've been talking about faith and how we have to put our focus on God, right? So what is faith? Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Sure, we may not be able to see God, right? But we can see things every day that remind us that we can believe in him. If we look around, we see all of the amazing things that he has done for us and for the world. If we keep our eyes open, we see all kinds of reasons um, why we can trust him no matter what. Today, we're continuing to talk about Saul, who is also known as Paul. Last week, we talked about how Saul had been traveling to Damascus. He had special permission from the high priest to arrest anyone who followed Jesus and take them back to Jerusalem. Saul was definitely a scary guy to people who followed Jesus. He was determined to stop their movement and keep them quiet. But as Saul traveled to Damascus, something happened. Something big. Jesus himself appeared to Saul in a flash of light from heaven, and it blinded Saul. Jesus told Saul to go into Damascus and wait, to be, wait there to be told what to do next. The men traveling with Saul led him into a town where he stayed at a home of a man named Judas on Straight Street. And today, to finish our, to tell our story, we have Dawn with us, who is going to go ahead and tell us what happened next. So there was a man in Damascus who was a Jesus follower. His name was Ananias. Ananias didn't know it yet, but he was about to become a real hero. God called out to Ananias in a, in a vision and told him to go find Saul. God said, Go to the house of Judas on State Straight Street as ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is praying. In the vision, Saul has seen a man come and place his hands on him. That man's name is Ananias. In the vision, Ananias places his hands on Saul so he can see again. Needless to say, Ananias was shocked and a little scared about the idea of going to see this man Saul because again Saul was scary. In fact Ananias even told God how he heard reports about Saul and how Saul had come to Damascus to arrest believers. But God explained that he had a plan. God said go I have chosen this man to work for me. He will announce my name to the Gentiles and to their king. He will also announce my name to the people of Israel. God told Ananias that he had a plan for Saul to become a hero too. Ananias must have felt afraid, but he believed God and did what God said. He went to the house and found Saul. Saul hadn't eaten anything or drank anything for three days. And then... Ananias placed his hands on Saul. He told Saul that he knew he had met Jesus on the road to Damascus. Something like scales dropped off from Saul's eyes and he could see again. He got up and was baptized. Now there is something you should know about Saul. He was a relentless guy, the kind of person who never gives up. Before Saul met Jesus on the road to Damascus, he was relentless in his plans to wipe out the people who believed in Jesus. But now that he was a follower of Jesus himself, he was just as determined to share the good news with everyone. Nothing was going to stop Saul from his new mission. Within days, he began preaching in the Jewish synagogues. He taught that Jesus is the son of God. Everyone who heard him teach was amazed. The Jewish leaders in Damascus were angry because Saul was stirring up the people. This put Saul in danger. The leaders wanted to capture and kill him to stop his new mission. But a group of Saul's followers had a heroic plan of their own. 
When they heard that the religious leaders were out to get Saul, they helped him escape at night. They lowered him in a basket in an opening in the wall. Saul returned to Jerusalem. He tried to join the believers there, but there was just one problem. They were still afraid of him. To them, he was still the scary Saul, who was relentless in his plans to hurt people who followed Jesus. One man, Barnabas, had already heard Saul's story, and he stepped in to help Saul. Barnabas took Saul to visit Peter, James, and the other leaders of the early church, and he told them the whole story. He told them how Saul was a changed man, and now he believed in Jesus. Barnabas helped the Jesus believers see that Saul was one of them, and they welcomed Saul into the family. Saul stayed with the believers in Jerusalem, and he preached there just as boldly as in Damascus. Once again, a group of Jew Jews became upset with him. But when it, once again, the believers helped Saul escape. This time, Saul tra traveled back to his hometown of Tarsus to wait for God's next directions. Barnabas and Ananias and the other believers helped Saul to share the message of Jesus with people. As a result, the group of believers across Judea, Samaria, and continued to grow through the power of God's Spirit. It wasn't easy for any of them. It must have been really scary for the believers to trust Saul after all they had heard about him. It also wasn't easy for Saul because he knew that sharing the message of Jesus might put him in danger. Still, Saul, Ananias, and Barnabas, and the other believers had faith in Jesus. They trusted him no matter what. They were courageous because they knew this. Knowing Jesus can help you face your fears. It can be scary to do the right thing when you're afraid. But like Saul and the other believers, we can stand strong because knowing Jesus can help you face your fears. Wow, today's story was full of some great examples of faith. We talked about lots of different people who had faith even though they had to face some scary situations, like Saul, who completely changed his ways and decided to start telling people about Jesus, even though he knew the religious leaders would try to stop him. Or like Ananias, who chose to help Saul, even though he, let, he heard all of the stories about the way Saul hunted down other believers. Or like Barnabas, who spoke up for Saul, and like the other believers who helped Saul escape, all of these people were courageous because of their faith in Jesus. You and I can have that same kind of faith. We can be part of the long line of believers too. When we put our faith in Jesus, we can have the help of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit can help us face our fears. Even though we can't see God, we can trust in him and know that he's always with us. He can give us the strength to do something that we're scared to do. For example, you might be afraid to tell the truth because it might get you in trouble, or you might be worried about what others might think, or you might be afraid to give someone a second chance who hasn't been your friend in the past. In those times, it helps to focus on what you know is true. You can face your fears and have faith. Let's go ahead and close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this awesome day, God. Thank you for this story and for reminding us to put our faith and our trust in you, God, even when we don't know how the outcome is going to be. Thank you for everything that you've done, Lord. Please bless this, these families that are watching and those who are not watching and just um, let them all have a great week, Lord. And guys, let me pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see some of you at our drive-in service today. Bye!